waiting for a word. I had dumped the last of the ice cubes from my glass into the sink and turned away from where you were sitting by the counter with a book of poems by Robert Frost. I was halfway down the alley before I realized just what I had said or hadn't quite said. But then I didn't turn back to you, so how important could those slightly revised words on the tip of my tongue have been, anyway? And then I realized that I had simply forgotten just what you had said in the first place, or I. And so as I walked, I crossed cracks in the pavement and spotted graffiti on the brick walls. I wondered if what we had said to each other about poetry or anything had even mattered at all. So often our voices seem more like background noise, music that we don't really even hear. It seemed to me as I wandered among the clutter of the alleyway as if our words were mere flames of fire vanishing in bright sunlight. Maybe my heart might nearly have caught hold of something real in the moment and then, rushing forward instead, I extinguished your words with my own non-combustibles. Perhaps to hear poetry, or even to hear each other, we might need to shut everything else out. What if we just closed our eyes and leaned back, arms crossed over our hearts, falling towards unseen arms with infinite slowness, falling in bare hope into unknown emptiness, falling into desolation, or perhaps the soul of beauty. Or perhaps we shall simply drown in more words. There was a penny resting on a rough limestone rock by the river where I had finally stopped walking away. I sat alone in my own silence under the bridge, the sounds of cars rolling and receding over my head. There was a gaggle of geese across the water. One goose stretched out its wings, flapped them out wide in the air several times, and then settled back down to look for bugs in the grass. A little girl in a fluorescent pink shirt ran down the path along the far side of barely rippling water. I could see people strolling along behind her, and a forest of trees, of course. I stood and picked up the penny, and thought again of our forsaken words. What waits for us in the silence? What waits for us 